welcome to my course uh, industrial biotechnology why the uh, heat is considered as the effective uh, way for sterilizing the media and uh, we have shown you that how temperature plays very important role for killing the microorganisms and we have shown that as you increase the temperature your sterilization time drastically reduces and also i try to discuss that uh, why in the industry the batch sterilization is not preferable as compared to continuous sterilization process because batch sterilization process not only required the higher amount of steam but also time of sterilization also about double as compared to the uh, continuous sterilization process now to, now uh, this class i am going to share with you that uh, continuous sterilization process how that is in practice in the industry now if you look at the uh, continuous sterilization process we have uh, direct steam injection sterilization we have plate heat exchanger sterilization now uh, let me explain this process because direct steam injection means you directly you mixing the steam with the media now you can see it here that raw media is coming one one way and steam is coming in other way and this is this is the actually we call it holding section you you hold the this is the pipeline and this pipeline will be insulated that you know i want to show draw it like this and this pipeline is basically there insulated that means it is it has it is the insulated by that is ins insulated like this so that the heat loss this is the insulation that we have in the outside the pipeline so that heat loss should be minimum so that is that is in practice because you we pass media here and we, the, now if you if you know the length of the pipe suppose length of the pipe is about l and if you know the velocity of the liquid what is velocity is is u u the what is the unit of velocity is centimeter per second am i right and what is the unit of length it is the centimeter now the time the holding time the time the, the liquid resides in the in the holding section will be what this is l l by u so you multiply divide by so you can easily find out suppose you you want to have 2 to 3 minutes holding time so you can adjust accordingly this is like this and then there is the expansion valve and this through this expansion is expand in the in the particular uh, in a chamber what you call it flash cooler then what happens that you know from the top vapor will be released and concentrated liquid will 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 be will be will be, will be falling like this now here here there is a problem that uh, if you do this that the, there will be loss of uh, moisture that will take place and the most important thing is that when you mix uh, the steam with the raw media the steam undergo condensation am i right in the in the uh, in the particular uh, pipeline and since uh, the condensation of the steam occurs then the viscosity and density of the liquid will be will be changed then as you know the flow characteristics of the fluid depends on the that uh, largely depends on the viscosity and the density we i have i can give the uh, example of the reynolds number reynolds number is equal to what do you rho by mu so with the density and mu that plays very important role now as your density and the uh, and the viscosity changes it is very difficult to maintain a particular temperature inside this holding section and if you are unable to maintain a particular temperature then your uh, sterility um, it's very difficult to maintain so that is the major problem that we have uh, this uh, direct steam injection process and that is why the industry this is not in practice now the, here is the temperature time uh, profile the temperature profile of this system you can see that as soon as the media injected the instantaneously temperature rises 
because that is the major that there is no heat loss basically that you know your whole steam is directly the heat is directly transferred to the media so you know that instantaneously temperature will rise to 140 degrees centigrade and you can hold it then you can do the flash cooling like this 80 degrees centigrade then slowly slowly you can cool it down to 37 degrees centigrade this is what uh, we have but this is not in practice in the industry and industry the sterilization technique that is in operation that is we call plate heat exchanger uh, sterilization now here we have three heat exchanger one two three you can see the three different ex heat exchanger now this particular heat exchanger we call it economizer and uh, uh, no uh, that uh, uh, this is now this this we this we consider as economizer the reason is that that uh, that you know uh, yeah, i can explain that the raw media is going like this and uh, it is coming out like this again going to the this is the steam injection and after going through the holding section it is so what i wanted to tell that here you raise the temperature to 140 degrees centigrade and then you are keeping in the holding so then you cool it down and uh, for this steam you are passing through the heat exchanger and to you can you are utilizing your raw media here just to use this heat for preheating the media so you you save some energy here that is we call it economizer this is called uh, the, the you save some kind of uh, heat we have we here and then your temperature will will come back come around to say 140 to 80 degrees centigrade then we part through the chiller to have this is you pass the cooling water now and then we we get the sterilizing media now let me explain the what is called uh, the, uh, what, uh, how how the how the plate heat, heat exchanger looks plate uh, plate heat heat exchanger looks like this So basically it is a plate like this. So several plates they are bunching together like this. So we have we have this different plates they are bunching together. Now this surface is corrugated. The surface is corrugated. Why it is corrugated? So if you make the surface corrugated, then what will happen the surface area will increase we know the rate of mass transfer depends on the surface area more surface area more will be mass transfer now what do you do uh, um, the, suppose you are passing your media here suppose your media here and you are passing your hot me uh, the uh, heat uh, heat uh, maybe steam you are passing through this or hot media you passing into this so when you pass this that this uh, plate will come in contact with each other and then it will heat your design media and take it out from this particular uh, the sterilizer so all this the, this plate heat exchange the three plate heat exchanger this is like this similar this is parallel the, the plates are uh, they are bunched together so several plates maybe 50 100 plates they are bunched together now problem is that this uh, particular the sterilizer has severe problem what is the problem that uh, this plates one place when binds with each other you put a gasket here in between this we put a gasket then we can tie it together and uh, and since uh, suppose we are using the steam as very high pressure the so there is the every possibility the so when you pass the steam at a high pressure the leakage of the, the your your gasket may bust and that you know, if the gasket bursts, then what is there is some steam leaking is there. Suppose you, you in between the when you pass your liquid, if uh, if some leakage in the gasket is there, some kind of cracking in the gasket is there, then also your media can goes out. Th those kind of problem that we have. Another problem is that suppose the, this is the steam, that means this is the high temperature and this is the liquid. So there is a possibility that the surface will be uh, there is scale formation on the surface of the plate now if there is a scale formation on the surface of the plate then what will happen the conductivity of the material will be lost if the conductivity of the material loss then 
what will happen more steam will be required more heat will be required for heating the media so that is not desirable so what you have to do you have to open this uh, plate and clean the plate time to time so that you you can have the effective heating on cooling in the system so this is the major drawback of this uh, particular process but this is largely in operation with the industries now uh, i here i have given you the temperature uh, profile as the, the uh, here here you see that when your raw media is coming it requires some time to uh, heat the uh, partially heating and then it is uh, heating to 140 degree centigrade this is the so you require some time about 20 seconds is required for heating purpose then 2 to 3 minutes for holding maintaining the temperature 140 degree centigrade or here it is 144 degree centigrade they have mentioned then this is 20 second for cooling purpose this goes here and then pass through the chiller the whole thing that required holding uh, that time required for that is 20 seconds so this is how how the sterilization is done medium sterilization done in the industry so uh, so let me discuss some problem related with the medium sterilization pro uh, process so that Uh, so that we can have better understanding on the process now the problem is like this media as a flow rate 2 meter cube per hour is to be sterilized by heat exchanger with steam in a continuous sterilizer the heat contains bacterial spore as a concentration of 5 into 10 to the power 12 per cubic meter the activation energy and arrhenius constant for thermal destruction of this contaminants as 283 kilo kilojoule per gram moles and 5.7 into 10 to the power 36 hour inverse respectively a contamination risk of one organism surviving in 60 days operation is considered to be acceptable now the sterilizer uh, <coughs> sterilizer pipe has an inner diameter 0.1 meter the length of the holding section is 24 meter the density of the media is 1000 kg per cubic meter the viscosity is 3.6 kg per per meter per hour what is the sterilization temperature required so this is uh, i hope you understand this problem because uh, what i say is that you should we should have a understanding on this process that how it how it actually in practice so you can you can write a, a sterilizer like this and where they have mentioned that the inner di pipe the, the diameter of the pipe this one meter this is the uh, uh, inner diameter of the pipe so id what i call inner diameter is considered as id now uh, uh, the, the flow rate of the media is about uh, say about 2 meter cube per hour that is given and uh, media contains about uh, number of spores is how much number of spores number of spores bacterial spores is about 5 into 10 to the power 12 per cubic meter am i right now activation energy that is given the contamination this is very important a contamination risk of one organism surviving every 60 days operation is considered now in a in a continuous uh, 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 flow reactor then uh, you first you have to calculate how many organisms is present if you operate this uh, for for uh, 60 days so what what we can have this is 2 meter uh, meter cube per hour is the flow rate am i right and then how much is the organism present 5 into 10 to the power 12 uh, per meter cube so this is that means how may, how much organism power per hour is going this is you multiply it by this factor now you can convert it to per day am i right if you multiply by 24 by one day is equivalent to 24 hours so we can multiply by 20 days you can for the per day how much organisms are entering into the system so he is saying that 60 days operation so you multiply it by 60 days so how, how much organism will be there 1.44 into 10 to the power 16 this is the number of organism 
Now, he is saying that one organism out of the, the 60 days operation is acceptable. That means, I can write n 2 by n 1 value 1 by this and this is equal to 6.9 into 10 to the power minus 17 that we can write. Now, now, now from the flow rate because we know the inner diameter uh, this uh, of the pipeline is 0.1 meter and uh, this uh, the what is the cross section of this uh, this is uh, pi r square pi r square is the cross sectional area. Now, if you divide by flow rate divided by cross sectional area suppose the flow rate is the volume by cross sectional area what you will get you will get volume per unit time and by cross sectional area you will get uh, the, that uh, that you that you will get uh, the here you will get meter per hour that means length per hour you will get some length per hour that that is exactly how is it, that is meter cubed and this is meter square so this will be meter per hour so velocity you can easily find out why we have want to find out velocity because uh, we <coughs> we want to have the Reynolds number Reynolds number is du rho by mu so if you know you yeah, know the diameter of the uh, tube is 0.1 meter and uh, velocity is 250 uh, 0.4 0.6 that meter per hour and uh, the rho is uh, 1000 kg per uh, per row of the water is like this per meter cubed and viscosity is 3.6 kg per meter per hour. Then this Reynolds number is coming about 707 into 10 to the power 3. Now, the picklet number uh, we can from this we can uh, we can calculate the picklet number. The picklet number how we can calculate? We can calculate uh, you, the picklet number equation is that u into l by dz dz is the that uh, uh, that dz value the, the we can calculate from this equation the dispersion coefficient that we can calculate with this uh, we have a plot between the reynolds number and the this uh, dispersion coefficient here that uh, this is diffusivity this is the velocity this is the kind of thing so if you know the reynolds number your corresponding value you can find it out and if you know that uh, that from this uh, Reynolds number is 7.07 into 10 to the power 3, we can determine the dz value uh, and that uh, uh, either experimental let us choose the experiment. So, this is the, this is from this figure we can we can have this from this figure we can have this value that somewhere here and uh, and uh, then we find out the z value which is coming about 16.6 square meter per hour. Then uh, your picklet number is equal to u l by d z. Uh, u is the velocity that is like this to 254.6 meter per hour into uh, 24 meter is the length of the tube. Then uh, divide by d z value you will get 364 8. Now, figure um, if you look at the figure 2 it is the, the plot between the n 2 by n 1 against the this is the, uh, the what you call damp polar number k d l by u. So, you, you have different values here. So, you can you can you can find out that if you know this value corresponding value you can find it out. So, so you can uh, if you if you if you n by and this value in n 2 by n 1 value is 6.9 into 10 to the power minus 17 and picklet number is this then d f d f value is coming about 42. If it is 42 and and actually that uh, if you look at this is the different picklet number picklet number 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 70 like this. So, the, as your picklet number changes this will be becoming steeper and steeper. So, so we can we can we can find out this value for 42. Then k d equal to uh, what is uh, this equation equal to u? Uh, if you if you look in this equation, d a equal to k d. K d is the thermal death rate constant L by mu. So if you if you know the d a value and you know L value, you know u value. So you can easily find out the value of u k d. K d is coming about for 445 
into c, point 0.6 into our inverse. Now, once you get that, now your situation is a little bit simpler because we know as per Arrhenius equation, this equation is there the k d equal to a into e to the power e minus e a by r t e a this will be e a e a by r t is the activation energy the ordinal energy required for deactivation of the cell e d also sometimes we write. So, we can we can we can we can do this and find out the what is the temperature required for the sterilization. So, all these values is given here you would activate the um, that uh, where the activation energy required for killing the organism death of the cells is given Arrhenius constant is given gas constant we know then the, you put this value we will find this temperature. So, the, the, air, the temperature of the sterilization is coming about 125 degree centigrade. So, this is how we can calculate the temperature of the medium sterilization that we can easily calculate. Now, <coughs> that let me show you how we can transfer the the because now we, we have the information with us how media can be sterilized, how uh, air can be sterilized. Now, things that uh, remaining with us that uh, the culture we prepare in the lab and that is to be aseptically transferred in the uh, inoculum vessel because I told you the volume of the inoculum vessel usually 5 to 10 percent of the production fermented and I work with uh, industry where the capacity of the production fermenter, production fermenter was 200 cubic meter and inoculum vessel that is where we prepared the inoculum it is about 5 to 10 percent in our case it was 14 cubic meter. So, 14 cubic meters means 14,000 liters. The 14,000 liters culture we cannot prepare in the lab. So, that, that is why you have to prepare this inoculum in the fermentation plant itself. So, so what we do in the lab, what we, we prepared the seed culture, we prepared the seed culture and through our research and developmental work, we try to we, we, we determine that what is the optimum concentration of cell required for the uh, for the for optimum amount of the required for the preparation of the media that uh, we shall have to uh, determine. And once we have this value, I can give a very typical example that in case of bacterial fermentation process, particularly for the unicellular cells, we do not have any problem because the unicellular cell you can count the number under the microscope and you have hemocytometer. So, you can count the number what is the concentration of cells and uh, even, even uh, you know uh, if you if you know the mass the total mass of the cells and if you know the what is the uh, weight of individual cells from that also you can convert it that how many uh, cells are present there. It is not very difficult either you can take the mass or uh, you know the density of the cells you can easily find out how many how many cells are there. So, so uh, now question that is uh, we, we face in case of the fungi, fungi is a multicellular organism with a filamentous growth. So, there it is not a unicellular cell. So, how you can count the numbers? So, in case of fungi we use <coughs> the spores because uh, the under, st under, under uh, stress condition it produces spores and spores can be counted because uh, we can count the spores, we can uh, under the hemocytometer we can count. The. So, you have to quantify that how many spores is required. So, so in case of unicellular cell we do not have any problem, we can use it directly unicellular cell or the or the yeast cells we do not have any problem, we can count the number and we can we can uh, we can find out that what exact number of cells is required, uh, what number of cells exactly required for the preparation of the uh, in a inoculum. So, that number you have to maintain. Then that uh, that so that we put it in the seed can like this you know seed can looks like this. What is the seed can? It is here we have a bulb and here we have a bulb. Now, here 
we have some not in bold arrangement. Now, in the industry, what you do? Suppose this is the inoculum vessel. So, if you want to transfer this, here also we have valve. So, here when you bring the this seed culture here, so we can we can we can here we have valve. We here we have not in bold arrangement. Here also we can we can we can clap together, and here also we have valve, and here we have not in bold, and here we have another pipeline. Maybe it is connected with sterilized air. Sterilized air. So it is like this, and also there is another line. What you have steam line. Steam line that is for sterilization of the that line pipeline. So you have you have to you have to sterilize this pipeline before you transfer. So you have to you have to pass the line so they and and take it out to ensure that line is hundred percent sterilized. And then you you have to sterilize this line also, and then you take it out. This uh, uh, there's a steam you can take it out. And when you ensure that your pipeline is hundred percent sterilized. Then you close this valve. You close this valve. Then you open this valve. Here, there is valve is there. So you, 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 you. There is nothing is there. So if you, if you open this valve, the air will go, go here. And here is close. And you open this valve. Open this valve. Open this valve. This is close. Then with this air pressure, whatever seed culture is there, that will come to the, the inoculum vessel. This is I V. You can, you can, you can transfer. It. And when it is completed, you close it. You close it. You close it. You close it. Again, you pass the steam here, so that you know pipeline, whole pipeline will be st sterilized. And then you run this operation. But when you get the culture, now how how you do that? How you transfer this uh, uh, culture from IV, that inoculum vessel, to production fermenter? Suppose this is a small vessel. Small inoculum vessel. This is inoculum vessel that we have, and this is big production fermenter. This is IV, and this is production fermenter. So, so here also you have like this. So what we do that here we we do sparging. This is air. Am I right? Air in, and this is air out. Now, if you close this air, then what will have, there will be tremendous pressure here, air pressure. With that air pressure, liquid will come here, and you can fall it here. So you can transfer the culture easily, aseptically. The you can have the valve here. You open this valve and drag the culture from this vessel to this vessel. So this is how we can, and then when it is transfer is uh, taking place. Then we can close this valve. You close this valve, and again we do the sterilization of the valve. This is how we can aseptically transfer the media, uh, transfer the uh, that in a culture from the inoculum vessel to the production fermenter. So this is in practice in the industry, and this is fine, very effective. Thank you very much.